Hey everybody, it's LinkJack20, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Man, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, hasn't it? Oh well, well, I'm all done with the usual holiday business. A lot of busy work it is, but I'm back to doing my usual thing. Okay, another jiggy there from the last Jinjo. And we're just gonna fly around. Speed this up because I cannot figure out where I'm going. Now, basically, you want to go to the top of this tree and spring as the bee. It has to be the bee. And over here, you'll see right on the top of it the last jiggy of this level. I see things above Nabnut's house. Yeah, look above the squirrel's house. It should be there, but basically, it's at the very top, and you can only get it if you fly up there as a bee. Now, to get the last, now to get the only other last thing we can get as a bee. We're going to leave Click Clock Woods. That's right, we're leaving this last level forever. Yeah, yeah, we know our best note score. We don't need you to remind us. And there it is, up here at the top, via the Witch Switch. This is the last Jiggy in the game. Oh my gosh, I am so happy for this. Let's just check our tolls just to make sure. Oh, let's see. Yeah, 10 here. Finally done. Mm-hmm. Good. Check. Check. Ah, uh, look at this. Oh, hey, on site. Yeah, we got it. Okay. That Gobi's Valley, Mad Monster Mansion, Rusty Bucket, Click Lock Wood. That is it, my friends. If you followed this entire, if you've if you've been following this entire Let's Play, you have now collected every last thing worth collecting. Now, I guess I could show where every single moment token is, but those are kind of un... It's kind of an optional thing to collect all those, you don't really get anything. Anyway, you go up here, you'll find a quiz show-like thing. Like one of those ponies, but actually, I'm gonna get something, which is I'm gonna finally show... You know, while I'm here, I might as well show what happens if you sa if you do hit save and quit, because it's a nice kind of... well... It's a humorous cutscene to see that they took all the time to just make a little cutscene to say, Why did you quit us? Why did you leave? Anyway. Uh oh. Since we quit, they actually had enough time to actually charge up the transformer thingy, and now it, it's happening right in front of our eyes, man. It's like, Help me! Oh man, but it's too late. Grunty wins. Sorry, I thought I might as well say, whoa. Oh, Damn. Oh, 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 oh. Now, I'm not going to keep going on anymore of that, but dang. Maybe it actually works still. <laughs> oh, Mumble's all just in love now. Grunty, nice. Go back to Mumble, Scholar. Ah, oh, well. I know. Now, that's not good. And you? It's just, no, I'm not even going to continue with that voice anymore, but... Yep. She did it, Grunty won. That's what happens if you quit, if you save and quit. But once you load the game up, it just restart. It just... It's as if none of this ever happened, but it's just a kind of kooky little cutscene they show. Anyway. We've all seen this. Now what I'm going to do is... All those Bren Tilda spots we've been finding... I'm going to show you where all of them are, and I'm just going to write down what she says about Grunty, because you're going to need it. First one's here. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's quite a few gross stuff. She has three pieces of information each. So, shampoos like baked beans, uh. That can't be healthy. She gets her clothes from the witch's war warehouse. Hmm. But yeah, the first Brentil location we found was right here on the second floor. I'm going to show you the next one, which is actually here in the Click Clock Wood area. I'm just moving, I'm just trying to do them in order from the top of Grundy, from the bottom of Granny's Castle to the top. Her nickname was Jelly Belly at Witch School. Huh. I also know that putrid parrot puke is her favorite smell. Where would you even get that? Anyway. And the old hag's favorite color is gruesome green. Not surprising, actually. Anyway, next one. It's here in Clanker's Cavern. The, the thing that's out, the room that's outside of it. Come to the pipe, get rid of this guy. Here she is. 
Okay, you're actually gonna want to write down everything she says. Most importantly, you want to write the stuff that's, you know, in that little shaky thing. The text that actually is kind of waving around. So she has a flea circus under her dress. She has a pet dog called Big Naka. Hm. Oh, and she has her own band, Grunting the Broomstick Boys. Alright, now don't take... Okay, actually, first of all, I'm going to be in the Switch statue room now. Now, don't take exactly what she says to me in this Let's Play word for word. Every time you play a game, she does change at least one of the things that she's telling me right now. She sleeps in that dumpster, the dirty hag. Ah. Anyway. But yeah, she will change at least one of the things that she talks about. It's just the Dirty Sundays contest. I didn't even know that was a ranking match. Anyway. She often boasts that she was on the Fat Hag monthly cover sitting on her broomstick. <laughs> oh well. Now while I'm here, I might as well just run quickly over to the next one. Go into the Bubble Goop Swamp little hub room. Woo! Okay. And then here, in this log to your left, here's the next one. Faddle's sister's favorite sport is belly barging. That actually be really interesting to see, like, on public television, so, something like that. Anyway, she attended Cauldron College. Anything else? Is that Gwyneth's party trick is performing a scary striptease? I'm never gonna get that image out of my head. God, that is just scary. Okay. Now we're heading over to the Gobi's Valley. Behind it, however. There she is. Ah, uh, see, so yeah, sorry about, sorry I was gone that entire week, I've just been, uh, well, first of all, I've been busy, first of all, I think I might as well say, I was doing some performances, stuff like that, drama, theater, crap, you know, anyway. Ugh. Oh, and if you are low on health, she will, uh, refill up your health, kind of like what bottles would do. There we go. Now I shall trudge through the desert to the next one. Now, on the, brim of, on the brim of the giant hat, in that one giant rich room, I don't know, I think it's outside Freeze Easy Peaks, yeah. She has spider pancakes for breakfast. Man, I did not even need to know that, but there's always a chance we will need to know it. Just dog dung workers, God. And she has cockroaches and cream. What, what a perfect time for me to be eating right now. Blah. Anyway, now here... In the lava room outside of Mad Monster Mansion Tub. You know how we had to come up here as a pumpkin? Well, she's here telling us that she has rotten fish hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> she also has a Veruca plant. I don't understand that one. I guess I'm gonna have to look it up. What makes a Veruca plant so gross? So I'll get back to y'all on that one. She has sweaty yellow undies. Uh, maybe that's why she won the dirtiest undies contest. Anyway. Now, we head back over to Mad Monster Mansion, outside of it. This is to the right of the, uh, entrance to it. There's this far- there's this lone little tombstone just to the right of it, where Brentilla's behind it. Do you know Warpax keeps a log loogie filled hanky? Oh well. I won't judge. Calling her dirty undies? Does she like them that much? Was she that happy because she won that contest? Whoa, her broomstick is a Rough Rider Deluxe. Hmm. Anyway, next one, actually, the last one. So we're gonna click Luck Woods. Ah! Okay. Click Luck Woods. It's. If you're leaving Click Luck Woods, like if you're running down the hill, it's to your right. It's in this little nook in the tree. She collects dragon teeth. Oh boy. This poor guy called Dirty Birdie was. Her first and only boyfriend. Hmm. What bet did he lose? Now, I'm gonna use to have a mad vulture as a pet. Oh well. Now, Granny's getting all mad at us for some reason. Oh well. Show my health. Thank you. Now, if y'all excuse me, I have a bone to pick with a bull. That's right, come here, you little. And we're back. Just wanted to show off all those little Brantel locations. Let's get ready. Whoa. It's like a board game. Great, just what I need at this time of day. 
So yeah, you're gonna need everything that Brentilda was talking about because, well, as you can kind of already tell, this looks like it's set up like a quiz show, and you are gonna have to need pretty much all the impro you're gonna have to know stuff about the game, like what music was playing in the background, what items looked like. It'll like show you scenes from one of the levels, like say Gobi's Valley, and you have to tell that that was in Gobi's Valley. And then you can see those little grunty squares, kind of faintly. They, you have to actually know little things about grunty, which you can only learn from Brentilda. So yep, that's the whole game. And every time you lose, you uh, every time you lose a question, you have to lose one life. So without further ado, let's get started. Press A, and here we go. Gobi's cactus conceals a prize. Tell me what you think you're wise. I think I read that wrong, anyway. Uh, it was actually a honeycomb piece, the big old uh, circular cactus we had to fly through. So yeah, that's pretty much how you go. You just keep moving. All right, the eye is the picture thing. So let's see. Um, well, that's a little. Uh, that's that snake's basket in Gobi's Valley in the uh, with the uh, snake charmer. Yeah. So let's uh, get to Gobi's Valley. There we go. Yeah, you only have 10 seconds, so you gotta be quick. And along the way, you'll find these little honeycomb things to help you. Now, I'm gonna go this way because I don't wanna do the Grunty Square yet. The run of luck will have to stop. Big Ship's third funnel. Wait, Rusty Bucket Bay didn't. The Rusty Bucket didn't have a third, it was only two. One of them had a jiggy, but yeah, no third one. Okay, music one. Alright, which character has this dumb voice? Well, that's easy, that's 2D. Alright. Banjo the stupid fat bear. He, she would put that there, wouldn't she? Anyway. Get life. And now these Joker ones you want to keep keep your eye out for. There's only one chance. And if you lose, you just you don't get you don't get another try. Just remember well, but we'll see. If this is heard, where would you be? Hmm. It's like in uh the polar bears, uh igloo like thing when they when we have to give them the presents, yeah. Oh. There we go. Now what these Joker cards do is she's kinda of telling me if you ever come into a question like that you don't want to even tr start answering, you can use you press B and use one of your Joker cards to skip it. Which is kinda of good in some ways. See the picture on the screen, you know where you've been. Um gosh, hang on. Oh wait. Oh those little stone things are like the Stonehenge and uh Mumbo's Mountain, yeah, yeah. So, Mumbo's Mountain... Yes! Next one! Lemon Mountain's not dull. What's in the eye of Mumbo's skull? Okay, not no, it's not token. It was a jiggy, so something else. Alright, now these timer ones are the ones that are kind of annoying for me, because what you have to do is you have to go through a mini-game or a boss battle of some sort on a timer. So it looks like we got the... Boombox, big boombox from Rusty Bucky Bay. And crap, I never did refill my gold feathers. Oh well. Let's see what we can do. Let's see how much I can get done with this much. Yeah. Okay, I'm out. We're gonna have to go the old fashioned way. Eggs. Can I. There has to be another way. Um. Shoot, um. Can I try the uh, pecker? Peck attack? There we go. Okay, peck attack works good. At least on the little ones. And there you have it. No sweat. But yeah, you can do everything. You, you'll end up doing everything from the big chomper one where you have to be the crocodile to the. In the treasure trove cove, you have to hit Banjo Kazooie, this little sandcastle floor, but backwards. I don't know. What was my name in Witch's School? Oh, your nickname was Jelly Belly. I remember that one. Ha! So yeah, that's why you need to know about the stuff that Brentilda showed you. And, um, I'm out of timer. I don't think I'll be able to do everything else right now. Um, let me see what this, uh, skull square is. Get this wrong for Grunty's sake. Oh, so if you lose on these skull ones, you lose a life. So anyway, Unlucky Jack 20, welcome you to let Uh, I can't jump? Oh, I guess they make it that way. You can't do any cool jump. Anyway, Unlucky Jack 20 doing Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. See you in the next one.